Hello, how you doing? Okay, so um, I'd like to give good snack ideas, all right? So, I like to give good snack ideas too, and, <laughs> sorry, and um, so, when, the thing is, is that Mexican food, the, the word Mexican means mixed blood, so it means that the Mexican people are part Native American, you know, going back to Aztecs, and part Spanish, okay? So another interesting fact, uh, Mexican used to be spelled with a J, because the letter X didn't even exist in the Spanish language if you go back far enough. So it was with a J, and uh, it changed to an X later, but Mexican food, as well as Mexican people, as well as Mexican architecture, and really everything about the Mexican people, it has uh, Spanish things in it, and as you know, I used to live in Spain, so I know about Spanish things. So, when I go to a Mexican restaurant or a postelaria, a, a, a bakery, which is what I just did, like a, there's there are things in the Mexican ba uh, bakery that came from Spain. There's tres leche milk. That's they have that in Spain. They have flan in Spain. They have fruit cake in Spain. They have, but the the big thing is in Spain. They have these babies, they, and over there they call them Magdalenas, okay? The thing is, is in Spain, the big mill, the, see it's like a brownish on top in this, it's, it's like a, a cupcake. It's not cornbread, it kind of looks like it in this, but... Mm, it tastes the same. It's, I'm telling you, it's the same recipe as in Spain. They don't... They don't, <clears throat> they don't call them Magdalenas in Mexico, but in, in Spain they call them Magdalenas. So the biggest meal of the day they have, in Spain they kind of have like the petit déjeuner of France. Same type of thing for breakfast, like coffee and a croissant or just coffee by itself or coffee and peanuts or coffee and oatmeal or something. And then... Um, and then medio dia, like they go, they come home from work and they have big, like two, three hour break, lunch breaks. So they can go home and hang out with the family and have a really nice meal. It's their biggest meal of the day, not dinner, where in America we focus on dinner. The American thinking is, let's make the breaks just as, only as long as they need to be. I want to work, get work over with and get home and get started on the next part of my day, including the best meal of the day, which is dinner. But in Spain, the best meal of the day is is uh is the lunch medio dia and so they'll have big breaks so you can they can even uh, have a what we call a siesta they call it that too but over there they'll have a nap okay and then they'll come home from work they might the work will be you know they pay a price for having such a long breakfast there they'll be at work longer but to them it's worth it and i actually it's healthier and it makes like, they're better at socializing than us. We have a lot to learn from, like, so many things about the Spanish people, okay? Their communication and their socialization and their, um, not like social, not like, I mean, you know what I mean, socializing, not government. And, um, okay, and so at the very end of the day, they'll, they'll have, like, the uh, jamón serrano, like a dried, uh, Serrano uh, pig leg, uh, you know, that you don't need to refrigerate on this thing. They'll shave off a slice of that. They'll have a big wheel of cheese. They'll shave off a piece of cheese, shave off a piece of jamón serrano, and they'll still have some bread left over from lunch. They'll cut two pieces. They'll put the ham, the cheese, in between the two pieces of bread and just eat it. And there's their dinner. They don't have, it's not, dinner's not their big meal. Then later that night, they might have friends over for a card game. The Spanish cards are cool. They're like a yellow. Yeah, I see them at Mexican stores. I, I want I want to get one, but it's the same idea. The cups, the swords, you'll figure it out. It's a little bit different, but it's the same system. Um, it's like a yellow and red and, and like tan colored card deck. And they'll sit around and they'll either have Magdalenas, most commonly Magdalenas, Oh, love them. I'm so glad they're in America. They, they just don't call them that. Or they'll have churros y chocolate, 
This is a churro. We all know what a churro is, right? In Mexico, they put this sugar with uh, cinnamon on it, sugar and cinnamon mixture on the outside of it. In Spain, they do not put the, which is where this comes from, okay? They do not put the sugar on it. They have a cup of molten chocolate they call chocolate. Like, you, you wouldn't say, oh, I wish I could have a churro. They're not churros, they're churros y chocolate. Churros y chocolate, they go together over there. It's, you know. And that's why it doesn't have the sugar in it, because over there, you don't just eat it by itself. You, you dip it in some chocolate. I've noticed in Mexican stores they sell, it's like a yellow label with red and it has a grandma on the front and it says abuelita, that means grandma. Abuelita, chocolate, and they're little tablets and you melt it. I've, I've done it, it it's, it's close, it's not the same thing. It has like a, I don't know what that is, like a cinnamon, cinnamon flavor. It's, it just has a little bit different flavor, but it's the same concept. So, I mean, I wish they would sell these without sugar and I could just go get an abuelita and make some abuelita chocolate and dip this in there. And that would be like in Spain, but, but, but this, you know, it's Mexico. So I'm going to have, so I'm going to snack on a Magdalena and a, and a churro, Mexican style. Mmm. Mmm. It's still really good. Mexican things are always so good. Mmm. Mmm. So anyway... Magdalenas and churros. They have pa uh, palmeras there too. It's like a phyllo bread looking heart shaped thing. And it usually has chocolate on top of it. I used to have a friend that worked at the factory where they made the palmeras uh, fresh in the middle, right in the center of Spain. I'd go over there and, and I could buy from them fresh palmeras. They're, they're, they're supposed to be dry and crispy like that, but. They're even better when they're fresh. Oh my gosh, they're good. The, the chocolate's more fudgy and thick. And it's, wow, fresh palmeras are good. But the humdinger of them all are Magdalenas. If you want to get into the Spanish thing, at the end of the day, have your friends come over, play cards with them, and serve them some Magdalenas. 